for you to ask, what does America mean to you? Would you understand my response? Would you be asking that question of me for my honest answer or use it as a rhetorical means to further the argument for your own ideas? If I was to ask you that question, would you second guess my motives as well? Why wouldn't you if we didn't know each other? The security of neighbor trusting neighbor has been forced into a small box deep within the forgotten layers of today's mindset. A quaint idea from a simpler time, some would say. I'm sure it's a sentiment many would consider. But I say we must remember that our neighbors are not just the house next to us, full of strangers. They are not just the cars on the road or clerk you see at the checkout line every day. They are the people you need and that need you to live a productive, secure, and fulfilling life. We are a country founded on neighbors fighting for the neighborhood, supporting each other so when one falls, we pick them up like Simon of Cyrene lifted the good Lord's cross upon his shoulders in the Savior's most vulnerable moment. It can be forgiven in this era to forget that we were not born of an isolated desire to be independent from one another, but from a rising chorus of many voices to be free together. We can only secure this freedom for one by securing it for all. Any ideal that provides for the freedom and liberty of every other is worth preserving. Any ideal that requires the subjugation and erasure of every other to exist only provides its own destruction. I would like to think that the path forward would be obvious. I believe that the path ahead of us is undeniable. So I encourage you to ask yourself two things, every day if you must. First ask, who is my neighbor? Then ask yourself, am I a good neighbor? Let us commit here and now to be good neighbors, to remember a nation where every person knows they have a role and a responsibility to each other's personal liberty. So then I leave you with a final question. Will you be a good neighbor?